Hi guys, uh, greetings over there, myself from uh, Vijay Tevada and in this session I am going to show you an example problem on uh, isometric projection and an example problem is like this uh, Pressure of a square pyramid of size 40 mm and top face 20 mm and height 60 mm rests on a center of a top face of a square block of 60 mm and a height 20 mm The base of the edges is parallel to the top edges of the square block Draw the isometric projections of the combination of the solids. Now, according to the given question, we have a square pyramid frustum, frustum of square pyramid which is mounted on a square block and the edges must be parallel to both the solids. Uh, so now according to the given condition, so one can consider the orthographic projections like this. So that means uh, we have to construct the square block of 60 mm for a thickness of 20 mm and above it we have a square pyramid which is a frustum of uh, 40 at the top bottom 20 at the top height is 60 millimeter now let me show you how to solve the problem now using a line command with a thickness of 0 0.5 and a continuous line so let us consider the square of 60 millimeter so 60 30 60 150 60 minus 150 and 60 minus 30 or you can connect it back to the first point now from the center of this uh, square that is polygon uh, we have to get the height of the square block as uh, 20 millimeter so let me have the axis of 20 millimeter height and then what we are supposed to do is we are supposed to select this uh, square what we have created using a move command and copy of move is on so we have to relocate it at a height of 20 millimeter and then this is supposed to be in the form of a chain line and a 0.5 of thickness because that is going to be the axis and then we are, the visible edges is going to be connected properly to form the square slab so I let me delete those lines which are not required now you can see that we have got a square prism of a 60 millimeter size size uh, thickness 20 millimeter so above which we have to locate the square pyramid of bottom is 40 millimeter and top face are 20 millimeter so for which we will make use of the available square itself so let me take the available square and this available square I will be go make use of the scale command now I wanted 40 and we have 60 so 45 is 60 is going to be the scale factor and I switch on the copy of scale factor because I wanted the 60 mm square also and 40 mm square also so this is going to be the 40 mm square I am going to retake and after which what I am going to do is uh, I am going to uh, the draw the top base so the top base line uh, square is 20 millimeter so again the scale factor I will change as 20 by 40 because the previously one is 40 millimeter and the present one required is 20 millimeter so 25 by so 20 by 40 I am going to locate it now one can see that all the three squares are the same height but one can see that this square is supposed to be at a height of 60 millimeter so now using a child line with 0.13 mm as a thickness so starting from this position so let me get the axis position of uh, the first one of uh, pyramid, uh, square pyramid and after which the top base of the square pyramid is selected using a move command with respect to the bottom base of the first one of square pyramid we are going to move it to the top base by switching off the move copy because the original has to be moved there like this and after which using a line command with a thickness of 0.5 millimeter simply connect all the visible edges as a continuous line with 0.5 mm thickness now let me redo the portions and then whatever the visible edges are there we are going to connect the visible edges and whatever is not visible so that can be trimmed off or it can be retained as a thin lines if at all it is required now thus uh, i can say that the construction of the isometric view or isometric drawing is completed as per the requirement now this figure has to be converted to isometric projections for which i am going to select this figure and then i'll go with the scale now i'll switch off the copy because we have uh, switched on the copy for the scale command earlier now I will give a scale factor of 0.8164 which is nothing but the isometric scale factor. Now I can see that the isometric projections of the given combination is completed as per the given conditions. 
Now, if you have any sort of doubts, please feel to contact me and please like this video and share and subscribe my YouTube channel. And thank you for watching this video once again, guys.